Welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we're talking about how the Giants, the New York Giants, win the 2024 NFL Draft. And we're going to do a seven-round mock draft for you guys today and go through the whole process of how I'm going to get this done. All picks today will be who I would choose, not that who they would choose, who I would choose, because I'm the best GM in the nation, of course. Let's make this thing happen. The Giants hold a key spot in this draft, and they are a cornerstone to how this board falls. Let's take a look. These first five picks, obviously, pivotal to who we pick. Let's see how it happens. We're going to see Caleb go one overall. Shocker. There he goes. Who goes two? Who goes two? Let's find out. Hmm. Jaden Daniels. Interesting. Who goes three? It's got to be May. J JJ. Why does this keep happening? Is this like an... Is, am I missing something? I'm serious. Was this, Is there something on Twitter I missed? Because like JJ has gone third overall in like my past five mock drafts, and I don't know why. It should be May. May's a stud. And if May is on the clock, if May comes to six, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I had Millie Neighbors in the thumbnail because I was going to pick him. Twist my arm, Giants fans. I don't see this actually happening, but we're taking May. I'm not even going to have to talk about it. We know why. What, are we in we're in unison, right? We know why we're taking May. He's a stud. What the hell? How did we get May at six? That's bananas. That's not going to happen, so I'm not even going to put it in the thumbnail. But it is what it is. Let's go to the next pick. So as we can see from our needs department, we addressed the QB pretty well, if I might say myself. We got May somehow at six overall. Don't Don't ask me how. I know it's probably not going to happen on draft day. I don't care. This is my simulation. I'm a damn good GM. I'm going to tell somebody I got Drake May, and they're like, how'd you do it? I just sat on my ass, and he came to us. Sorry for the cussing. So, we're moving on. I need everything they can get. Look, wide receiver, O-line, D-line, linebacker, DB. That's, quite frankly, besides tight end, every single position. And I think they need that, too. This is insane. So, let's just take best player available for the rest of the draft. And how in the world is Mike Sanders still at 47 overall? That's insane. I like Nubin too, but I love Sandra still. Who do we take? Twist my arm. We got options here. I'm I'm gonna mix it up, okay? In the Atlanta draft, I took Mike Sandra still because I love him. I'm gonna mix it up. Let's take Nubin. We need Nubin. Big fan of him. Let's have him as our new starting safety for the New York Giants. We are back on the clock at 70 overall, and we got some good talent here. You're feeling good. Giants got some good picks. I ain't gonna lie. They got some good draft capital this year. And some good talent here, man. We got sweat here. I uh, love me some Baker. Baker's a stud. We got Booker. Uh, I don't really like Johnny Wilson. I don't know why he's up here. We got Fisher. We need everything that we can get. So who do we take? Look, we got Kyrie Jackson. We got Colson. I'm getting – we got Tr Trice? Oh, my goodness. I am just out of my mind. I'm ecstatic. Who do we take here? Okay. Let's review. Who, would you, who do we take at the beginning? We got Drake May. Don't ask. Please don't ask. I don't know, but we got Drake May. Very happy about it. I hope you should. If you're not happy about it, don't unsubscribe because you're at the wrong place. You're out of your mind. Newbin at 47. We could have gone Sanders still. Where did where did Sanders still go to? 53. That's crazy. Anyways, let's go on down. Okay. Pick 70 overall. How we feeling? Who do we want? I'm going to let you down on the inside right here. Kyrie Jackson. I like him a lot. Trice. When we started this mock draft process... I don't know what he did. I got to find this thing. Arm length. Is that why he's getting knocked? Trice was like a first round pick. I don't know what happened. To be honest with you, did, like, he do, did he do something bad? Did he have a bad combine? I'm just shocked at the value that's falling. Let's take Trice 70 overall. I'll see you at the next pick. So guys, we are bolstering this defense as much as we can. We got Nubin, we got Trice, and we got May. Six overall. Crazy. Here we are. Pick 107. We got three picks left. Pretty solid capital. Who are we taking next? Who is our favorite player on this board? Just to show you all a preview of how this wide receiver room is looking, this is crazy. We're at 107, and all these wideouts are gone. I don't I hope you understand how many wideouts went in front of this. Absolutely bananas. If this actually happens on draft day, I'll be shocked. That's, I know that we got a good wideout class, but them being picked this quickly is bananas. Somebody will be here at 107. That is what I would shoot for in the real draft. But here we are, nonetheless. The simulator gave, gave us May. We can't complain. Who do we take next? We could take a cornerback. That could help. Like James. Tracy's cool. We don't need him, though. Like Cade Stover. Big fan of that. I'm going to take the best player on the board, in my opinion, and that would be DJ James. Welcome to the team. Let's do this thing, DJ. All right, guys. We are back on the clock. 141. Who are we taking? A lot of options right here. No one's screaming my name, pause, but lots of good options, I must say. Mason Smith, 
I took him in another mock draft. We won't do that today, but I do like that prospect. Ceiling-wise, got a lot of potential. I'm strangely a fan of this guy. Zach Zenter could do it all, man. Huge dude, 6'6", 322. And he's a pretty good pass pro. He's a pretty good run blocker, too. Powerful, powerful guy. Not the best at pass pro, as you can see. But his run block is insane. Do not let this man get a hold of you. It's Jover. So, I'm reaching a little bit. I don't care. We got to protect Drake May at 6 overall. Crazy. Give me Zach Zinter to our squad. All right, guys. Last pick of the draft right here for the Giants. 183 overall. It's pretty some, some good value here. I must say, nothing crazy. Nothing jumping out. Jawan Briggs, looking pretty good right now. He's definitely in my top five for this pick. I like Harrell. We could use him for sure. I like Jaheim Bell, okay? He's a weapon. He's a chess piece, and DeBull would like him a lot. That's all I'll say. He fits in the identity of this team. I like Jordan Jefferson. I'm not going to repeat. I'm not going to repeat that pick just because I picked him in another mock draft. Where do we go next? In my opinion, of course, because that's all that matters for this video. You know what I mean? I'd probably do Jefferson, but I'm going to mix it up. I've done Anthony. I'm going to mix it up. Let's take Briggs. We need all the help we can get on the D-line. Lock it in. Let's go to the end of the draft. Giants fans, here we are. This is my mock draft. And guys, you're to say I cheated. No, go watch the video. You can find out that I wasn't cheating. He actually fell to me at six. Is that going to actually happen on draft day? Heck no. It definitely won't. Not cussing again. Too much cussing this episode. Got too excited. Drake May at six is bananas. That one actually happened, but... Man, we'd love it. Newbin at 47 overall to help that DB room. Trice, I don't know what happened. I need to do some research. Why did he fall this low on the board? He used to be a top first round pick. Something's changed. What was it? Trice will take 70 overall for sure. DJ, Zach Zinter to help our QB May. And then Briggs at 183. Guys, this is my mock draft. What'd you think? Look at them criticizing my Trice. You're out of your mind. I'll take that value all day long. Giants fans, did you hate it? Let me know in the comments. I'm a big man. You can tell me. I don't get offended. It's all good. What would you change? Obviously, May's probably not going to happen, but besides that, what would you change? Would you pick someone else at 47? Do you like someone better at 70? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like because it helps me tremendously. I mean tremendously. It helps this video out a ton and boosts the algorithm. If you enjoy these kind of videos, subscribe because I'm going to bring you a mock draft for every single team in the NFL. All 32. That's a lot of videos, but we're going to get them all out before draft day. I promise. If you guys are super fans and you're one of the thousand that are already subbed and you're like, Cade, I need more content the patreon we got a three dollar tier that brings you an extra video every single week and if you're a dynasty sicko like i am and a fantasy sicko like i am i'm bringing you rankings for the rookie draft and the redraft in the fall in august i'm gonna have a whole spreadsheet for you guys i'm gonna share it with you for the five dollar tier in my patreon i appreciate y'all more than you know love you guys have a great day peace let's kick off this elite tier in the best way possible the heisman himself Jaden daniels at lsu where do i even start with this guy amazing pocket presence the most beautiful deep ball down the field that you've ever seen not to mention speed and agility out the gate he's elusive as hell and you can't get this man on the ground